Welcome to this complete Death Valley, California travel guide. Today we embark on a captivating journey exploring the top 10 must-see places in this extraordinary part of the world. Death Valley, a name that may sound ominous to some, is in fact a treasure trove of natural wonders. It's a place where Mother Nature flaunts her raw, untamed beauty in a spectacle of stunning landscapes. From the lowest point in North America, Badwater Basin, to the sweeping views from Dante's view, we are about to traverse a land of contrasts. We'll uncover the mysteries of the Devil's Golf Course, marvel at the palette of colors at Artist's Palette, and feel the burn of Furnace Creek. We'll tread the sandy waves of mesquite flat sand dunes and gaze into the depths of Ubahibi Crater. So buckle up and prepare for an unforgettable journey through Death Valley where nature reveals some of her most astonishing secrets. At number 10, we have the Telescope Peak Trail, a trove of breathtaking views. This trail is not for the faint of heart, but for those who dare. It offers a thrilling hike that's worth every step. Imagine traversing rugged terrain, the air thinning with each upward stride until you reach the summit. It's there at over 11,000 feet that you're rewarded with panoramic views that are nothing short of spectacular. Now here, here's a fun fact for you. From the peak of this trail, you can see both the highest point, Mount Whitney, and the lowest, Badwater Basin, in the contiguous United States. Talk about a unique perspective. It's like standing on the edge of the world, with heaven above and earth below. So if you're up for a challenge that guarantees a rewarding view unlike any other, the Telescope Peak Trail should be at the top of your list. It's a remarkable adventure that's sure to leave you feeling on top of the world. Next up at number nine is the Ubahibi Crater, an explosive testament to Mother Nature's power. This magnificent crater, the result of a volcanic eruption, paints a striking picture of the Earth's volatile nature. Imagine, if you will, the moment when the ground shook, smoke billowed into the sky and molten rock erupted from the Earth, creating this awe-inspiring crater. The Ubahibi Crater, with its considerable size of half a mile wide and 777 feet deep, is a sight to behold. Now, take a moment moment to roll that name around on your tongue. Ubahib, it's a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? Some say it fast, some say it slow, but few manage to say it without a chuckle. Whatever way you choose to pronounce it, one thing is certain. A visit to the Ubahibi crater is like stepping onto another planet, a true testament to the raw power of nature. At number eight, we have the Devil's Golf Course, where golf is definitely not the game. This spot is a surreal landscape, a testament to nature's capriciousness. Shaped by wind and rain, the terrain is dotted with jagged salt formations that stretch as far as the eye can see. The name, you ask? Well, it's said that only the devil himself could play golf on such a treacherous surface. Imagine trying to hit a hole in one on this course. You're more likely to lose your golf balls to the salt pits than score a birdie. This expanse of crystalline salt formations is a product of Death Valley's evaporating lake leaving behind a crust of minerals that have been sculpted by the elements into a field of sharp, serrated pinnacles. It's a sight that's as breathtaking as it is eerie. For those who fancy a walk on the wild side, the Devil's Golf Course offers a unique and unforgettable experience. Coming in at number seven is the Golden Canyon, a hiker's paradise. This treasure trove of geological wonders offers an awe-inspiring display of rock formations that seem to change color with the shift of the sun. A myriad of trails, each with its own unique charm, wind through the canyon, beckoning adventurers and nature lovers alike. The Golden Canyon is also a star in its own right, playing backdrop to several Hollywood productions. Remember those otherworldly landscapes in the original Star Wars? Yes, you guessed it, that was the Golden Canyon. So, not only will you be treading on some of the most spectacular trails, but you'll also be walking on the same ground as some of Hollywood's biggest stars. Whether you're a seasoned hiker, a geology enthusiast or just a movie buff, the Golden Canyon offers an unforgettable experience. For those who love hiking and Hollywood, the Golden Canyon is an absolute must visit. At number six, we find ourselves amidst the mesmerizing mesquite flat sand dunes. This remarkable landscape in Death Valley is a spectacle of nature's artistry. Imagine, if you will, waves of sand stretching as far as the eye can see, sculpted by the whims of the wind into an ever-changing vista of peaks and valleys. Walking on these dunes is an experience unlike any other. Feel the grains of sand slip under your feet, each step a testament to the unyielding beauty of this desolate wilderness. Listen to the silence, only punctuated by the soft whisper of the breeze. 
It's as if time itself holds its breath here, captivated by the majesty of the dunes. The dunes transform with the light, offering a new spectacle with each passing hour. The golden glow of sunrise, the harsh midday sun, the soft pastels of sunset, each paints the dunes in a different hue. Whether you're an adventurer or a photographer, the Mesquite Flat Sand Dunes are a sight you won't want to miss. Halfway through our list, at number five, we have the artist's palette, a canvas of nature's own making. This geological wonder is a must-see location where the rocks are more than just rocks. They're an array of hues, a symphony of color, red, pink, yellow, green, and blue. Each pigment telling a tale of the minerals that comprise them, it's like stepping into a painting crafted by the hands of nature herself. The name Artist's Palette is more than fitting. It's a testament to the fact that Mother Nature is indeed the most talented artist of all. And let's be honest, who else could possibly create a masterpiece on such a grand scale? Picasso? I think not. So, if you're looking for an art gallery with a twist, this is the place to be. For a splash of color in the middle of the desert, make sure to visit the artist's palette. At number four, we have the Furnace Creek Visitor Center, your gateway to Death Valley. An oasis in the desert. This visitor center isn't just a spot to cool off, but also a treasure trove of information about the valley. Filled with engaging exhibits, it paints a vivid picture of the area's geology, ecology, and history. Now don't let the name Furnace Creek give you the chills, it's not a literal furnace, but yes, it does get quite toasty in Death Valley. So hot in fact that you might start to question the wisdom of your ancestors who decided to walk upright and lose all that lovely insulation. But worry not, the visitor center is well air conditioned. From maps and brochures to friendly park rangers ready to share insider tips, the Furnace Creek Visitor Center is a gold mine of resources. As a starting point for your Death Valley adventure, the Furnace Creek Visitor Center is a must visit. Coming in at number three is the Badwater Basin, the lowest point in North America. Imagine standing a staggering 282 feet below sea level, surrounded by a vast expanse of gleaming white salt flats. It's quite the sight to behold, almost as if you've landed on another planet. Badwater Basin is not just about the numbers, it's the unique experience that counts. Here you get to walk on the largest protected salt flats in the world. You might think you've stepped into a winter wonderland, except it's salt, not snow. And then there's the eerie silence, broken only by the crunch of salt crystals under your feet, a sound as unique as the location itself. The basin's name, Bad Water, might seem a bit ominous, but it's simply a nod to the undrinkable water found in the nearby spring. For a unique perspective on life, don't miss the chance to visit Badwater Basin. At number two, we have Zabriskie Point, a place of stunning beauty. This is not just an ordinary point on a map, but a mesmerizing gateway to a world of awe-inspiring panoramas. Nestled in the heart of Death Valley, Zabriskie Point bestows upon its visitors a breathtaking spectacle of rippling hills and rugged canyons painted in hues of gold and brown. It's a place that truly comes alive in the gentle embrace of the sun. As the first rays of dawn touch the landscape, Zabriskie Point reveals itself in an explosion of color, the hills and valleys bathed in a soft, ethereal light. And as the sun dips below the horizon, the setting is equally enchanting, the sky transforming into a canvas of fiery reds and deep purples. Zabriskie Point is not just a location, it's an experience. It's a symphony of nature's grandeur that leaves an indelible impression on your soul. For an unforgettable sunrise or sunset, Zabriskie Point is the place to be. And finally, at number one, we have Dante's View, the crown jewel of Death Valley. A perch over 5,000 feet above sea level, this location offers an unparalleled panorama of the valley below. From here you can gaze upon the salt flats of Badwater Basin, the lowest point in North America, and the majestic peaks of the Panamint Mountains. It's as though you're viewing a painting that nature herself has crafted. Named after Dante Alighieri, who penned the Divine Comedy, this spot gives you a heavenly view that contrasts with the infernal conditions of the valley floor. And isn't it poetic to stand at a place named after the author of Inferno looking down on one of the hottest places on earth? The reason Dante's view is considered the best view in Death Valley is not just for its breathtaking vistas. It's the feeling of insignificance in the face of nature's grandeur that truly humbles and awes. For the ultimate Death Valley experience, Dante's view is an absolute must-visit. You will not be disappointed. 
And there you have it, the top 10 places to visit in Death Valley, California, from the breathtaking views at Dante's View and Zabriskie Point, to the intriguing landscapes of the Devil's Golf Course and Uberhebe Crater, there's no shortage of wonders to explore. Imagine walking on the salt flats of Badwater Basin, the lowest point in North America, or hiking the Telescope Peak Trail, where you can touch the highest point in the park. Picture yourself wandering the golden walls of the Golden Canyon or traversing the captivating Mesquite Flat Sand Dunes. And remember, the Furnace Creek Visitor Center is your gateway to these treasures, offering helpful information and insights. Lastly, don't forget the artist's palette, a place where nature paints a masterpiece with mineral deposits. All these experiences await you in Death Valley, a true testament to the beauty and resilience of nature. So why wait? Start planning your journey today. Thanks for joining us on this virtual journey through Death Valley. Until next time, safe travels.